severe, uh, understandable discomfort, not something that's coming out at you. There's been some strain there with previous existing relationships and, and, and new relationships and uh, understanding about whom I should or should not contact and um, avenues that I had prior or um, people reaching or not reaching out to me to conduct various business of the agency since I've reported. So you feel that some, um, some of the work that you have to do in your daily job responsibilities, some of your relationships or your ability to work with people in the governor's office has been compromised. I just want to make sure That's I correct, understand Senator. that. Okay. Um, I, I want to clarify a couple of things for myself, really. Did you tell Heather Taylor about this incident, or was it reported to her from somebody else and she reached out to you? It was reported to her from someone else. So would that have been through Matt Platkin, probably? That was my understanding. Okay. So, so then she reached out to you. That's Is correct. That correct. Yes. And when she reached out to you, it was just to tell you that there was nothing they could do about it. I did. I did affirm that it was correct what Matt had relayed to them, and then, yes, they told me that there was nothing that they could do, and it was that they tried, but there's not an avenue to pursue any action because we were not state employees at the time of the incident. And at that point, she did not offer you any internal complaint form or anything of that sort? Not that I'm aware. Okay. Um, as the chief of staff now, you touched on this, and, and I'd just like to make sure it's clarified. Uh, you were given copies of the state anti-harassment policies or copies of policies that just have to do with the housing finance and mortgage? I believe they are our policies at the New Jersey Housing and Mortgage Finance Agency. And then I took a state online ethics training course. Okay, and, the and, ethics, yeah. And harassment prevention. But you weren't given the statewide policies? Unless they're incorporated into the agencies, no, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, and I want to again clarify uh, the Hudson County prosecutor. Who in the prosecutor's office, or did you testify, let me rephrase that, did you testify that someone in the Hudson County prosecutor's office led you to believe that there was going to be some criminal action against Mr. Alvarez? I understood that a decision was pending and imminent, and that's when I alerted Mr. Braz. Given, given my ongoing conversations with them, given the length of time, given various interactions I had with them, which, which I'm not testifying on today, I, I was optimistic that they were moving forward. So, so they said the decision was imminent, but they didn't lead you to believe one way or the other what that decision might be? That's correct. Yes. Okay. When you um, made your report to the Jersey City Police Department, did they take a written report from you? Yes, they did. Okay. And you said that was the day after? Correct. It was April 9th. Okay. Uh, you, sp uh, you testified that it was Justin Braz, whom you called that very evening? Yes, the early, early that day, and he came over in the afternoon. The, the day after? Yes, April 9th, yes. Okay, so he came over and spoke to you in person? That's correct. Okay, and did you ask him to keep your name confidential in whatever avenues he was going to pursue? At that time, I was letting him know as a friend to be a support for me because I knew, 
I knew as part of the campaign that I would see Mr. Alvarez again, and Justin, knowing him as well, I knew that if I were to see Mr. Alvarez, Justin very likely may be there as well, and, and that he could assist me. So you kind of asked him just to act as a go-between or a shield for you? It, it, I said that I needed him to know. I said I needed him to know and someone who knew Mr. Alvarez to know so that they could help me. And you don't know, well, are you aware of any action that Mr. Braz took? I am not until, until he alerted Transition Council. And so did Mr. Braz tell you that he alerted the Transition Council? He did. So when I believed that the prosecutor's decision was imminent, I spoke with Mr. Braz and said that I believed the decision was imminent and I, that, at, that if they moved forward, it was likely to generate news coverage and that I wanted, I wanted to alert them, I wanted them to know. And so he suggested transition counsel and I agreed that he could tell transition counsel. And did the transition counsel then contact you? They did not. Okay. Um, uh, who, uh, you, just for the record, can we have the name of the transition council to whom this was referred? If I you do know. not know whom Justin Braz alerted on transition council. He simply said that he was going to call transition council. Okay. So, well. Did Mr. Brest uh, mention at all that there was a chief transition counsel or whom he might be dealing with? I do not know who he told. And when you were working on the transition committee, did you deal with any of the attorneys for the transition committee? I met, I met several of them in passing. But you didn't have any business relationship at that point? No, not particularly. And do you know who the counsel were that you were dealing with or that you were saying hello to? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know there were several and some several I, I had known prior so I, I I'm not sure I could speak to that. Okay. All right, let, let me go to uh, when you went to the county prosecutor. Well, first of all, you went to Jersey City Medical Center. That's correct. Was that how many days after? When did you go to? I the went. Hospital? I went in the early after more, or late morning, early afternoon on Monday, and the incident occurred in the early hours that that Saturday. So the, a day, a day and a half. Okay. Did the um, Jersey City Medical Center offer you? any kind of services, uh, services of a sexual assault nurse examiner, or anything of that sort? I requested one, and one was present. Okay, and you, that is when you did the rape kit? That's correct. Okay, then you went to the Hudson County prosecutor, or did the Jersey City Police Department refer it to the Hudson County prosecutor? The, the Jersey City Medical Center triggered it, and so then the prosecutor left a, not the prosecutor, the detective left a message with me, and that's whom I knew who to contact when I went forward to them. Okay, they left you with a contact name. Yes, it was point. the Jersey, it was, it was the SANE nurse and the medical examination that triggered alerting the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office. Okay, so 
did they then contact you for a report? They did. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't want to mm -hmm. get in, into that any further. Um, yeah, I think we will turn it over to the vice chairs. Okay. Too.